everyone. Well, here we are, far flung like an Eddie Hall kettlebell in the Philippines, and it really is paradise. Except for some people, for whom it's about to be purgatory. The men of Heat 5, possibly the toughest group of all. Five of these six men have been to the grand finals before. Get ready for some hardcore brawn. Heat 5 is the group of death. Between them, these athletes have amassed 16 grand final appearances. Nine of those were earned by Great Britain's Terry Hollands. Having failed to qualify over the past few years, the two-time podium finisher is looking for a resurgence of power. Iron fists from other European countries are also clenched. Poland's Mateusz Kieliszkowski, the youngest and fastest athlete here in the Philippines, is looking to storm towards glory. There's Konstantin Janashia, the Georgian bull, aiming to gore anyone who gets in his way. And former Russian Marine Mikhail Shivlakov. Beneath the berry is one of the most talented exports from the former Eastern Bloc. Only two will survive this group of death and take the remaining places for the grand final of the world's strongest man. Cheers, Eddie. Cheers. Come on before the storm, then, of this group five, which is, would you say, the toughest of all? Yeah, this is definitely the group of death. Got five former finalists, you couldn't call it. Kieliszkowski, for you, looks the hardest of them. Yeah, last year, he came first in the, in the play pool in the final. Just a phenomenal athlete. Definitely one of the strongest in the group. Terry Holland's made nine consecutive grand finals. He hasn't been to the last ten in a couple of years now. What do you think of his chances this year? He had a year out, he slimmed down massively. Will that do any favours in this heat? Maybe. I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's get over to the action then and event one. And bringing us all the drama from Heat 5, it's Colin Bryce and Danny Wallace. Well, thank you, James. Looking forward to seeing this guy. Britain's Terry Hollands. There's Janashia from Georgia. And the friendly face of Russia, Shibliakov. And it's the load and carry. So at 75 seconds, 12 meter course. First of all, carry a sack and another sack. And it's the farmer's walk on the way back. So first up from Latvia, first time here, Smork Stelis. Interesting to see what he's going to bring to the party. The sales manager back home. Familiar face, America. Nick Best. The sixth. That was a lot. Ooh, hello. Interrupting me there. And always in the hat. Always fun. Shivliakov. Well, Danny, this is a real test of speed and endurance. First of all, you have to get it up, though, and Nick Best very quick in the centre there. He caught up, though, very swiftly by Shibliakov. Already halfway back to get the second sack. A mistake from Nick Best. He didn't really ram it on hard enough to shove it back on again. And now he's behind. Look at Shibliakov, the Marine, so fit. Well, absolutely, but look at that. Smart service, nipping at his heels. Now, this is a real test of grip and endurance. It's a incredible weight to have to finish off with in the hands. And Shemyakov goes down. The Latvian could get a surprise win. No, well, he doesn't. No, absolutely. But what a showing from Smorkstelis. Latvia will be happy with that. Nick Best, though, really still struggling. He's got 75 seconds to complete as much as possible, but he's got to get the sack on to get a time. And then... Uh, Try and run these farmers as far as he can. Oh, look at this. Just a man against a sack. Who will win? Nick Best. How oh, can he move these at all? He's got a couple seconds left. Well, just to show he could. Well, he'd be disappointed with that. But Shuliakov takes that. I agree. 40.64 seconds. Just so fit. Second sack as quick as the first, and then the farmers, his grip gave way, but he soon recovered. 40 seconds would be hard to beat. 
Onto Janashia then. He would have been watching. And rival Shuryakov. Big fan there of uh, Kiliskovsky. Soon to be Mrs. Kiliskovsky. Oh, that's why. No, she's a very big fan. And a slim down, toned up. Boy band version of Terry Hollands. Full time strongman from Dartford in Kent. And they're off. Wow. Kiliskovsky in the centre there. Was whipped off the floor like it's nothing. 50 kilograms, 330 pounds. It's almost the same weight as Terry these days. Well, Terry slow and steady. That height really helping him, but look at Kieliskowski. Quicker on the second, unbelievable. Now, how's his grip? Wow. Well, Kieliskowski always gets nervous before these events, but why? I don't know. Look at that. He's destroyed the time to be. Goodness me. That was sub 30 seconds. Janashia behind him. Oh, he, 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 he looked slow there and it was 40 seconds, which is <laughs> could have just about won any other heat. Extraordinary. Now Terry very focused. Using his rhythm to balance. Just drops and that's it, that's done. Well, Kieliskowski is spectacular there, 29.3 seconds, putting him right at the front for the Logan carry. So he'll take six points for that. Look at that, he's carrying 150 kilos. He's in slow motion and he's running faster than me. He's with Michelle now. Mattis, what can I say? You absolutely flew through that and you got the fastest time of all the heats. Uh, it is a surprise for me. It's, this bag was very heavy. 150 kilogram I train in King Kong in 120. When I come here, I, I get info about 150. I was uh, very afraid. I tell you what, you still got a smile on your face, Mateusz. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> the Polish star punishing off the opposition there with his sub 30 second time, the quickest in Manila, a full 10 seconds faster than the Georgian Danasia. Holland down in fifth. Can Terry bounce back in event two? Which of these giants will emerge strongest? It's literally a toss-up as the kettlebells make their return to the Tachi Palace, world's strongest man. Welcome back to World's Strongest Man in the Philippines. Over at the Coconut Palace in Manila, it's time now for the kettlebell toss. Michelle has more. Thanks, James. Right now, it's time for the kettlebell toss, where our athletes have to throw these eight kettlebells over this 15 and a half foot bar. Now, these kettlebells increase in size and weight, and it's an incredibly technical event. The athletes have to be spot on in terms of timing for when they release their explosive power. Over the years, these throwing events have had some great moments. So let's hurl ourselves back in time for some of the best fits. In theory, this event should favor the taller man with the long arms and the maximum pendulum yeah. effect. We are about to see it! In your own time, throw. Look how quickly he's moving through these barrels. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 over. Yeah. 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 And it's a goofball. He's not even looking over his shoulder to see if those pigs are flying over. He knows it. Oh, it's well over. I got it. I got it. Hold it. Up it goes. Well, not quite. And he needs a swift pair of heels to avoid the block on its way down. Mild miscue there, Cat. Oh, not this time. And just to prove he can move fast when he wants to. Oh, yes. Well, the kettlebell toss then. Imagine throwing an item in the air. That's it. You can imagine the kettlebell toss. But these items just get heavier and heavier. And as Michelle mentioned earlier, the technical events. Well, Smoke Stellis so far is in the lead in this one. 27.83. Managed six kettlebells. So what will the smiling Russian manage? Here he is, Shibiakov. 
disagree with that entirely. I'll be taking that with him later. So the first. Oh, look at the power there. Brilliant stuff. He's not that tall, not for a strong man anyway. Around about six foot two, but Jesus, he explosive. Really clearing the bar there. Almost too much. I hope he's not wasting energy. He's a fit man, mind. There's number five. I've just been handed the translation of what he actually said earlier. And it was work hard and be the best you can be. Which is very much the Shivlyakov way. Oh, well done. One more to go. Goodness me, only Brian Shaw's done this. The second man ever. Well, hasn't managed it so far, but is leading with seven. Still got 15 seconds. Well, but to fail it and then do it with 10 seconds to go, surely he's exhausted. Oh, oh so he close. Was closer. Come on, Sheva. What have you got? A few seconds. Oh. Look at that. Oh. You see, Colin, you work hard, be the best you can be. And you'll be a smiling man like this. Extraordinary for Sevnyakov. All eight, second man ever to do all eight after Brian Shaw. And certainly Brian Shaw didn't do two attempts to the last one first. Well, who is going to beat that? Will it be Terry Holland, who will want these six points? They can certainly do with the points, currently in fifth after event one. And after five events, the top guy overall goes straight to the grand final. Second and third place then have a shootout in the stones. And that's not a good start from Terry Holland. Not good at all. He's got to stay loose. Just has to recompose himself. Well... Struggling now. He's going to lose confidence. Yeah, I mean, you see that from the shrug, didn't you? What's going on? He's saying he's got to get into the rhythm. Oof. Well, he's scraping through right now. He's just releasing it a little too early. He's just got to hang on to it, finish the pull off. He knows what he's doing wrong. Hopefully, he can just correct it now. Just keep going. But he's awful slow here. Three and 45 seconds. He might get this and one more if he's quick. Well, let's see. He's moving a little swifter now. We want to get this one. And he does. But that'll be that for Terry Hollands. Could have been more. Should have been more. He's in the groove now. He's doing another. <laughs> Did he get that one at least? Oh, well. <laughs> well, he's fourth. Kettlebell toss. Just going to the rhythm and then just too late. Well, two events in, we still have four to go. Assuming, of course, he gets into the top three and gets a chance of that stone shootout. Ladies and gentlemen, to pull something out of the bag. Group five, representing Poland. Mateusz so last up then, Kieliszkowski, just 24 years old. And as I mentioned earlier, always very pensive before each event, and then just explodes. Yeah, he's a, always quite a silent chap. Very thoughtful guy. My goodness me, is he an incredible athlete. A guy who could have been a, a world-class shot putter or a javelin thrower, I'm sure, but that athleticism certainly puts him in good stead here at World's Strongest Man. There's number four. He's really found his rhythm now. He's got his technique down pat. Just doesn't seem a problem. Oh, getting much heavier now. Well, he's not quite as convincing as Shevlyakov, who just was springing off the ground about a foot while throwing it. Oh, didn't wow. really use his legs there, though. I'm not sure he's going to get this last one. I don't know, but if he does, he will take this event. Yeah, good point. He's got to speed up a little bit, though. <laughs> well, it's not going to happen, but a great showing, though. Could I mean, that's a case of... What could have been, and he knows it. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mateusz Kibiuszkowski. Missed opportunity. Boy, is he hard on himself. Isn't he? Yeah, he really is. But look at the way he just pivots from his hips. He doesn't really use his legs well. They're space off the legs. It's okay with the light ones, but not the heaviest. Well, all that means then that the kettlebell toss is taken by Shivlyakov. 
Right, these are all official yeah. Russian Marine yeah. boots. Yeah. They teach you all these. Yeah. The Russian Marines. Apart from that. The Russian, only the second athlete to complete all eight kettlebells in the heats. Kiliskovsky takes second, with Terry once again only managing fifth. So the overall standings, remember the top man goes through after five events, the next two play off to decide the other qualifying place. And right now, there's only four points between the top four, with Collins in fifth, with some catching up to do. Will he fare better in our next event? Staying at the Coconut Palace, it's time for the deadlift with Colin and Danny. Well, thanks, James. Beautiful day, but the, the sun and the heat won't help. Very tough event, this. And we just keep making it tougher. More and more barrels will be added to this weight, and it's all about the reps. Nick Best in the lead so far. Six reps. Small Cellars didn't do bad before. Until four men remaining. Great Britain. Up first Terry of all then, Holland. Terry Hollands. You can see, it's over his right shoulder, those barrels, they will drop one by one. And he'll be expected to lift, lift, lift. He's just trying to get his belt combination right. Has he got a bit of cramp in his lower back, perhaps? Twice. He's not sure what to go with, is he? There's Terry's girlfriend is watching on. She's a fitness model. Helped get Terry into great shape. And he's certainly got veins on veins now. Something's not right. No, not, not at all. It's like cramp, maybe? Yeah, I mean, Terry's... Ladies and gentlemen, Terry say, Notorious for cramping. And it's so hot and humid here, he's... Probably just sweated too much over the first couple of events and now he's paying the price. That's bad news. That's his one attempt. Representing the Republic of Georgia. Then. Currently in third place. Genasha. Already very sweaty. You mentioned the humidity. Oh, it's, it's just so hard to deal with and all the harder when you're 160 plus kilos body weight, 25, 26 stone. Now then, Janasia, great deadlifter, really long-armed is the Georgian ball. Certainly helps. Really using those legs as well. He's uh, not exactly a pencil knack. He's got some big traps on him, that's for sure. Up goes number five. Very good. Six to beat, seven if he does all of them. Absolutely. So Nick Bass will be somewhere hoping this doesn't happen, but it has. Well, we're getting close to 400 kilos now. We're well in excess of 850 pounds here. And uh, the fatigue is a good lift on its own, but on this machine, with all that lifting before, just too heavy. Yeah, 10 seconds to go, but decided against it. But he is tying with Nick Best. And six reps. Well, if Janashia can't do all seven, this is a pretty tough task. I think it's probably fitness rather than strength that got him there. The heat just saps the power Poland, here. Matthias Kiliuskowski. Well, it doesn't look happy with this event, Kiliuskowski. He is a pensive man. He is a thoughtful man. But this is not his favourite event. He's very much a thinker, but he didn't used to be a deadlifter. That's the problem. But he's undoubtedly worked hard at it. He actually discovered he had one leg shorter than the other, so he's got an orthotic in to help balance himself out now. That's got rid of the pain in his lower back. So maybe it'll improve his performance. Number four was a bit of a grinder. Oh, what has he got? He's got 30 seconds left. Six to beat. This is number five. He won't give up on it. Gets it. That's it. Well, did very Ladies well, fine. Consider it. Yeah, I would say so. If he's got through this without pain in his lower back, that's the big thing. Because before, this would really damage him, and the next couple of days, he just could barely move. I think that could probably damage anyone, though. Goodness me, he put himself through some strange positions to get that last one up. Well, here we go. Crowd favourite. I mean, it's torturous, this event, and he's, he's just delighted to get into it. He's a unique character, that's for sure. Sorry.
I do not speak English. Hi, Siberian. Yeah. He's fun. He's definitely fun. Family favourite, isn't he? <laughs> well, he is straight in. Not so much fun when he's hunting you down with a sniper rifle, okay? <laughs> what are you doing in your spare time? Well, he's a genuine hardened marine, but goodness me, he enjoys his strong man. Oh, very strong start. Should be a cough. Oh, that's good. The way he pulled them before then, extraordinary. Now then, Kirishkovsky, he was really struggling with that. Sheva, same as the first one. Well, this to equal Janashia and Best does it. 15 seconds left to go. He's regrouping. Has he got it in him? There's the smile. Still smiling. Come on, there's Shevnikov. Almost 400 kilos. Extraordinary. This to take the event. Yes, says Shevnikov. <laughs> well, that was extraordinary. And he takes the deadlift. Unbelievable! I mean, all of the kettlebells now, all of the deadlifts. Amazing. Shivlikov just keeps grinning and just keeps winning, grinding out that grueling last rep to take first place ahead of Best and Janashia. And that means in the overall standings that Misha moves into top spot, two points clear of Kiliskovsky, who's now in the playoff positions with Janashia. Terry Holland's dropping to sixth place, clearly struggling here. Let's find out why. Terry Holland's feeling the pain here in the Philippines. What, what happened there in the deadlift? Um, yeah, I just suffered with really severe cramp. A um, little bit frustrating, obviously. I only get wet one rep, but yeah, I, mean, I was literally cramping from head to toe. So I took on a load of electrolytes, a load of fluid, and hopefully it would be better for the, the truck pull. Okay, because as you say, it has been frustrating so far. Lots of niggly little things, but this bit of tarmac right here, could be your road to redemption because we're about to pull buses on it. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, I've dropped a fair bit of weight. I'm hoping the, the extra conditioning will help, so my fitness is a little bit better than it was. Obviously, I'm lacking a little bit of body weight compared to what I used to, so I'm, I'm hoping a little balance out and I can still get the win on this event. All right, you need a big one. We'll see if Terry can get it after this on World's Strongest Man. Welcome back everyone to World's Strongest Man here in the wonderful Philippines. We're midway through Heat 5 and here's the story so far. Kieliskowski was the quickest in the load and carry 10 seconds faster than the nearest man and twice as fast as Terry Hollands. In event 2 there was more rushing about with Mikhail Shivlyakov romping through the kettlebells. Terry Hollands only placing 5th. And Terry's woes continued then as he was dead last in the deadlift with Shivlyakov taking a second straight event win. That means then that Shivlyakov is two points clear of Kilitkovsky and what's fast becoming a cold mixture. Can Terry find the solution? It's over to Eddie with Michelle. Thanks James. Eddie, we spoke earlier about how to get this vehicle started, but once you have done, how do you maintain momentum? Well, getting it started is the hardest bit, but once you've got it going, it's fast arms, fast legs, keep breathing, head down, hips low. And no doubt with an event like this, I mean, these guys need medical attention. Which part of your body hurts the most? <laughs> it's which part doesn't hurt the most. Uh, pretty much everything. The legs are burning, the arms are burning, the lungs are burning. The guys finish, they'll collapse, they'll be overheating, they'll be starved of oxygen, they'll get them in the tents, cover them in ice, get oxygen masks on. It's a pretty dangerous event. It sounds it. Well, uh, let's get straight to it and see who can take this 13-ton machine across the line in the quickest time. Well, Eddie doesn't make it sound fun. He's lost the fun element of pulling a bus. The 60 seconds, 30 metres. It is 13 tonnes. Well, Shibiakov gave it a go. He's currently in second place with 42 and 11 seconds. But in the lead, Nick Best, 41.54 seconds. That is what Terry Hollands has to beat if he wants to progress. And he knows it. Both the last two years were quite a disappointment. 
mean, obviously coming back from retirement, I knew it was going to be tough. I felt both years in, in a position where I could have made the final and, and I didn't quite do enough. This has been part of the thought process. If I'm going to continue to do strongman for a few more years and continue to be competitive, I needed to make some changes. And, you know, it's that, that age old saying, if you, if you want a different result, you can't keep doing the same things all the time. So I've tried to make changes in terms of my training and my diet and everything else. And, and hopefully you see an even better Terry Islands than we've seen before. So Dartford's Terry Hollands. Now, the bad news again, he needs a win here. Anything less than a win means he won't qualify for the playoffs. And the playoffs are his only hope of going through to the grand final. The good news though, Colin, he's very good at this. Yes, I mean, he's tremendous. He's won the world's strongest man, grand finals, bus pull, truck pull, plane pull uh, on several occasions. But he does lack the body weight he once had not exactly scrawny, he's still 160 kilos or thereabouts, 25, 26 stone, and he's getting this moving very well. The leg power hasn't gone, the former rugby player driving away here. Well, look at this determination and this speed. Eight seconds to go. Can he get that bus across? He's got to do this. And he has. Oh, what a result for Terry Hollins. He needed that just to be in with a hope. Of sticking around 39.04 seconds for the Brit that was big from Hollins really good use of the arms as well never missed the rope kept his eye on it all the time there was no room for error now he just has to see what the others do the smoke says it's a mixed bag of these events First time here. Yeah, he's a new guy to World's Strongest Man, so you have to cut him a bit of slack, but he's certainly been producing results outside of World's Strongest Man. Of course, that's how he earned his place here. He is Latvia's number one right now. Just the noise this. coming from him, eh? <laughs> he wants it. I mean, when he was given his slot here, you've never heard a happier man, and he's just desperate to impress. You've got to keep low, you've got to keep straight as well, you don't want that bus in any way coming off course. But he's putting every sinew of his body into this Danny, this is tremendous, he's close to Terry's time. Well, this is going to be very tight, well 40.07 seconds for Schmorkstellis, puts him in second place. But crucially it means this man is safe for now. <laughs> Terry Holland's still ahead. Yes, he's living dangerously and hungry guys like Smout Stellis behind him. And indeed the ball, Janassia. He could be very good at this. He's heavy. He's got incredible all-body power. And he's hungry. So he just needs to get this started. The baby steps at first. The big pulls. Getting into a rhythm. He's breathing his arms. I think he just lost his mic pack there. Very nervous sound engineer as that bus goes over it. <laughs> uh, he's doing well here. Again, Terry's going to be under serious pressure and he's accelerating now towards the end. But it does go uphill the last five meters. We'll just come up to 30 seconds now. 39.04 to beat. Uh, I'll tell you what, I think this is going to be very, very close. Oh, really close. And it is. Wow. 39.68 seconds for Janassia. And uh, he didn't need a mic pack, that guy. He's a point zero four slide. Nervous times for Terry. That's close. Just look what Janassia had to put into that to get it that close. Real recovery mode. Well, the bad news for Terry is the last man to come is Kieliszkowski. There's no doubt he is a brilliant bus, truck, plane, anything. He can pull it fast. And the power in those legs again. Just needs those baby steps just to get it going. Keep it very low. He 
Jeez, those legs are powerful. He got that moving very quickly indeed. And he's low, lower than anybody else. Reminds me of Pudzianowski. Just perfect technique. Just staggering a little bit, perhaps the heat getting the better of him. Maybe Terry's got a chance. Well, who knows at this stage. 39.04 to beat. I think Terry's got something to worry about. No, that's it. Kieliszkowski, one of the best in the world, to be fair. You are going to be beaten at a bus pull, as I often am. You want it, you want it by this guy. <laughs> and it's going to happen often by this guy. He is tremendous. I mean, he can just about beat anyone in the world at this. And he, and he doesn't have the body weight. It's just extraordinary technique and power. Absolutely. Just another extraordinary Polish strongman. It's going to be exciting to watch. Terry, though, can't now qualify for the grand final. Well, a changing of the guard, perhaps, in the basketball. While Kiliszkowski is fast emerging as among the best in the world at this event, that second place for Terry, as we've heard, is sadly too little too late for his hopes of reaching his 10th grand final. Overall, then, Kiliszkowski moves back into top spot, with Shivlikov and Janashia heading for a playoff in second and third, which is half a point between them, but Ivar smokes Stelis, still in with a shot of catching them. Can Kiliskowski keep ahead of Shivlyakov and Janasha? Will Smoke Stelis get a late playoff place? It's hard to say. So let's hand over to Colin and Danny. Well, that was very hard to say. So the overhead press, 60 seconds, four dumbbells. Just getting heavier and heavier. Lifted above the head, and a lockout. It's very difficult. Nick Best in the lead so far with two. 37.9 seconds. Colin's managed one. And this is very important. Smoke Stelis has to blitz this. He's really got to do well, beat Best's time, if he has any chance of getting through the playoffs. Janashia, uh, really a face last couple of years at the Grand Finals. Well, he can ruin Smoke Stelis' party here as long as he does that second dumbbell in a decent time. Oh, man. Good start. Very good from both of them. Smoke Stellas perhaps the snappier of the two, but Janashia quicker. Oh, well, hang on. Is this a little glimmer of hope for uh, Smoke Stellas? Janashia having trouble there, Colin. He's got to get the second one up to guarantee his place in at least the shootout. That slippy wet t shirt. He's got it. Okay, well that more or less guarantees, doesn't it, Janashia's... It does, yep, Janashia will be in the shootout, at least in the stones. Smoke like Stennis will know it, this is for pride now. Wow. For his first showing in, in World's Strongest Man, what a group to get. Kielischkowski, I mean, when Hollands is down the bottom, you know it's a tough group. He doesn't need to do it now, Janashia, he might as well just take it easy, he's going to be going in the stones very soon. I'm afraid that's it for Smoke Stellis. Well, both men kind of congratulating each other on a great showing. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, give it up for Ivar Smoke And he leads the, uh, the press, Smoke Stellis. Janasha, it's good news for him. And now give it up for Konstantin Janasha. Yeah, crucially beating Nick Best and Terry Hollins. That'll give him enough points to go into that second third playoff in the atlas stones and he didn't even bother with the final lift <laughs> why <laughs> be professional ladies and gentlemen we move on, on now left, representing poland to the brilliant kieliszkowski leading after four events representing Up russia against mikhail shivliakov, shivliakov. I'm expecting great things from both these men. Ladies' favourite. Here we go from Kieliszkowski. He is, he's actually got the world record in this. Kieliszkowski, look how easy that was. Somehow I feel a, a little sorry for Shevnikov because he, he's actually got one of the hardest groups and put in some incredible performances, but it doesn't look like he's going to go through as number one. It looks like Kieliszkowski will do. And he won't even have to do the Atlas Stones. If you're number one after five events, straight to the grand final. Wow, well, look at that. He's a machine. Kieliszkowski dominates 
Jimmy Akoff, I think he's had enough. Yeah, he's mainly two to the, the Stones shoot out now. Quite rightly, just reserves a bit of energy. Congratulates the winner who does go straight to the grand final. That's it for Kieliskowski in the heats. Early shower for him, but a very impressive four. Kieliskowski breezing through that in under 30 seconds to take his third win in five events. Only two reps for the next four men, which is a single lift for Terry Holland. And that means that after five events, Keleskowski is through to his third consecutive grand final. Shivlyakov and Janashia must battle each other for the remaining qualifying spot, and Schmok, Stennis and Holland will have one last battle to decide fourth and fifth. All smiles for Keleskowski, job done for now. The one remaining place in our grand final to be decided by the Atlas Stones. It's the Georgian Bull against Siberian Force next on World's Strongest Man. Welcome back to the Philippines at the Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man. After the damage and drama of five events, we're all set now for the climax of our final heat. It's the playoff for the last qualifying spot in this year's grand final. Shivlikov against Janashia, and Michelle is with the big Georgian now. Thanks, James. Now, Constantine, you're going to be taking on the Atlas Stones, and you're actually up against one of your friends, Misha. Uh, how are you feeling about it all? Yes, uh, Atlas Stones is for me is good event. Uh, it's Misha is my best friend. Now, it's, it's competitions. It's uh, best friend. Uh, I am. I am wins. <laughs> you feeling confident? I am feeling good. Well, good luck. <laughs> Let's join Colin Bryce and Danny Wallace for the final showdown. Well, the softer side is strong men there. Roller skating in the palm together, playing bobble. All going head to head with the Atlas Stones. 60 seconds. These stones get heavier and heavier. They have to be lifted onto these uh, plinths. And, and quite simply, whichever of these two men, Shivlyakov and his best friend, the Georgian Bull, Janashia. On the right, representing the, of them the Republic of Georgia. Does it fastest? Will go through to the grand final. Janashia. The other will go home. It seems a shame to lose either of these guys. They're both absolutely world class. Set. This heat has Ready. proven to be the toughest so far, I think. And we're underway here. Janashia on the right, is Shabliakov on the left. Those in the lead. Well, he's quicker off the ground, Shabliakov. Janashi does have that height advantage, you're right Danny, and he's quicker at the top, goodness, it's neck and neck. It really is neck and neck, as I say, one of these men going through to the grand final, one of them going home, which one will it be? Well, Janashi is struggling slightly, Shubiakov is quicker off the ground, but Janashi has taken it! Shema finishes off, oh, you've got to feel disappointment for him, he's still smiling though Danny. Well, he's always smiling. What does he want? <laughs> My best friend's always doing that to me. It's what best friends do. <laughs> oh. oh, goodness me. I, I hate to see either of these guys lose. Oh, look at the relief. Janashi has done it again. Three grand finals in a row. Such a shame to say goodbye to Shivlyakov. But what a worthy competitor Janashia truly is. He's with Michelle now. Constantine, congratulations. You've got yourself a place in the final. How are you feeling? I am feeling good. I am very happy. I am fight with final. I've noticed that tattoo on your arm. It says world's strongest man. Is that what you're aiming for, the title this year? One day, I am the world's strongest man. One day. <laughs> you know what, it was lovely to see you and Misha have a hug at the end of it, because you guys are friends, he's a strong contender, but he's also your friend. Yes, Misha, best friend. We fight together. This Atlas Stones. No. Next year, I Misha. We'll see you here. Well, well done, and we'll see you in the final. Go and cool down. <laughs> 
Yeah. Those then the final standings. Janasia and Kiliskowski maintaining their remarkable record of never not qualifying for the grand final. Terry Hollands losing his playoff showdown with Smoke Stellis, finishing fifth. And these are the ten men who will battle for the ultimate honour. From the Mountain Bjornsson to Gigantor Brian Shaw. From Big Z and Obi to Lissis and today's two qualifiers, it is an extraordinary collection of who's who of the most powerful men on the planet. All sorted then for the grand finals. And look, Eddie Hall has returned. Eddie, what do you make of that lineup? First of all, no Brits. Yeah, it's a real shame there's no Brits in the final, but you know what? There's going to be plenty of action for the guys back home. Uh, particularly after that British guy went and won it last year. Whatever happened to him? Uh, he's sitting right here. Ha! Indeed he is. We're definitely going to get a new champion, and there's so many storylines, as you mentioned. Brian Shaw looking for title number five. Can he do it? You know what? After speaking to Brian, he is so angry after last year. He's been away. He's been training real hard. Abdul Bjornsson was pretty angry last year as well. Every year he seems to be poised to finally take the title and then something goes wrong. Could this be different? You know what, I'm going to be dead on it. Paul looks absolutely massive this year. He's come back, he's so big, so strong, and he's angry as well. So this is between Brian and Paul. Okay, we'll see how accurate Eddie's predictions turn out to be when we return for the grand final. For now, though, on a day which has seen us add to the finalists, Janasia and Kiliskowski, it's time for us to be off We'll see you next time on World's Strongest Man. Getting into the rhythm and it started going well.